hello guys yeah this is Caesar graphics again yeah I have a very lovely tutorial for you guys today um, a client asked me to do an artwork and he said he's looking at me doing something like a scrabble piece that formed the theme of the artwork so I have the artwork here which is this so what we're going to be doing today is this all right I'm sure somebody is, is excited already so to do this very simple um, the first thing you're going to do is to go to your browser and then type Google like I have here and the next thing you're going to do is to click on images all right now when you click on images the next thing you're going to do is type um, scrabble piece okay no sorry let's make it blank scrabble scrabble piece yeah really i love you doing um google a lot for my artwork so i'm gonna say this and uh i'm gonna hit enter all right now uh, i'm gonna make use of this first one which is this all right and this is it here okay now for those of you who are not used to using google to search for images all right when you first right click and select new tab you have this now the next thing you're going to do is to always make sure you click on view images because at times some big images come in thumbnails like this so always make sure you click on this and then right click and you know save the images i think i have two already open here i'm going to close this all right so the next thing you're going to do is locate where you want to save it in your system i'm sure i'm not supposed to teach you that all right then um i have mine here on my um computer then the next thing i'll do is to drag and open it in photoshop like uh, like this then i'm going to use a, uh, a a tool called the magic wand too because i need to take out the white portion of the image so i'm going to do that by clicking on this and click on the white part all right like this and the next thing i'm going to do is to hit ctrl shift i to invert the selection all right then i'm hitting ctrl j to make a copy okay and i will uh let me solo this let me hide this sorry solo is for video all right now i'm going to click on this and go to images i mean image sorry adjustments and select curve so i'm going to darken it a bit over here like this and push this up a bit like this all right um all right now i'm going to hit okay and go to image again adjustments and select brightness reduce the contrast and push the brightness up a bit all right i'm going to say okay all right now the next thing we're going to do is remember we're get, we're going to this am i right yeah i'm all right so i'm going to go back again and i am going to um, go, i'm going back to google again because we need to have um our background all right so to get the background i'm coming here again and i'll type wood um background background yeah this is it okay so i have lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of background here so but um this is actually to save someone all right i'm sure some of you will go, go like okay how am i going to get the background this, this these are different type of background you can make use of for your project no but for me i already have one on my system which is this i'm going to drag this and i will drop it like i did with the blank grab a piece so i have a new um document open remember don't drag and drop on this tab drag always drag and drop sorry always drag and drop up here not here not on the already open document drag and drop here to create a new document all right so i'm gonna um, i'm gonna click on this now all right and click here and drag here all right so this is it so it's time for us to start adding our text so to add our text we are going to make use of a text called the area rounded empty bold i'm sure this is a common from that everybody should have and if you don't have it um google for google the google the form google the form because if i ask you to call me i'm sure some of you will keep calling me and stop never stop calling me so google the form to find it on the internet all right so i'm going to start with my the first letter of my name which is c all right um c oh, 
okay and I'll position this here all right now um, let's start doing our settings so the next thing I'll do is to click on the uh, my text layer and then click on the FX button and I'll go to my blend uh, panel and it's time for us to start tweaking it okay now I'm gonna go to the bevel first really we are most the major work will be done in bevel so I'm gonna click on bevel and I am going to come here no sorry bevel come here below and burst and I will change this to 113 and this is going to be one and um, what else again I am going to change this to one two zero okay now look at this guys this is what I want to achieve if you look at if you take a close look at the teeth of my letter here it looks as if it's this um, shape here is actually um, uh, uh, um, cut out like the tri uh, this is chopped from this um, chest piece so to do that to achieve that is what we're trying to do now sorry so the next thing I'll do is to come right here no click here to click to uh, bring out this panel the control editor and I'll push this down notice the changes guys just pay attention at the C then you can go back and watch the video again so uh, you can go back and watch the way I made my cut, uh, control editor adjustment Woo, English alright so I'm gonna drag this down drag this down and I'm gonna push this up alright like this down. okay I think we're getting there am I right so I'm gonna say okay um, okay and the next thing I'll do is to change my ad mix to what I mean my <laughs> my, my sorry oh god my highlight mode to add mix and bam Woo. this is cool man damn all right so i'm gonna come here and then change this to did i make it white no let's leave it like this let's leave it like let's leave it at like black so i'm gonna change this to 61 and this should be 100 100 cool yeah i think we're there already guys so i'll say oh Okay, bam. So this is our first chest piece. We have C, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to uh, hold on control and notice something. When I mouse over my uh, uh, my, my 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 thumbnail, my layer, I have this icon. I'm holding on control now. If you don't hold on control, you're not going to get this. So hold down control and then you click, and then you have that portion selected. And below the uh, chest piece create a new layer so I'm gonna come here and then click on the new layer icon and I'll call this shadow oh sorry remember always make sure you label your layers accordingly all right so I'm gonna come here and say scrub did I just say chest piece man I don't know I looked I don't know why I love chest so much all right so I'm gonna say here still this on the chest piece Oh, so we chest piece, chest piece. Is there anything wrong with this chest piece? Scrabble piece. But well, cry that loud. Oh, okay. So I am going to hit Alt and Backspace. All right, to fit a layer. And the next thing I'll do is to hit Control D to deselect the macro selection. So we have this. All right, so I'll hit Control Z to make it go back. And I'll hit Computer Blow Gaussian Blow. All right, I'll make my first blow go this way not too much all right don't make it too much still and I'll hit okay then make another copy all right by coming here and then say right click right now, dragging and dropping on the um, new layer icon that if you don't want you to use the shortcut control J so I'll come here and call this one uh, motion shadow is there anything like that well I don't know so I'll come here and say filter blur motion blur so I'll position this this way and I'll push this up 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 and hit ok then I'll push this down to about this level and I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit then I'll come here do the same thing for this one 
and I'll push this up to about this level all right okay so I think we're getting there right so I'll increase this a bit Should I just make it 96 let's make it 96 or 100 I think 100 is fine Okay, let me adjust this again. Filter blow, Gaussian blow. I'm trying to be fast because I don't want the tutorial to be too long. All right, cool. So I'm going to reduce the opacity a bit. Select my eraser tool and uh, turn off my cap total cap block, and just clean this tip here and clean this tip here. All right, so. I think we'll do we're done with the C so I'll hit Ctrl Shift. I'll select the first layer and then shift select the last layer and shift hold on again with this icon which is the group folder icon and I'm gonna tag this C okay and I'll reduce the I'll reduce the size by hitting Ctrl T on my keyboard and reduce it. Position this here and then make another copy you can use ctrl j or you drag and drop here and i'll come here and then call this uh of e all right collapse it again changes to e ctrl j i'm going to pause the video so i'm going to create um, i believe you all know how to make um, duplicates so I'm gonna make duplicates to make you guys see what my end result will look like. 